as uh, seen in uh, this picture there will be neck sprain and uh, and uh, the surgeon will be uncomfortable at uh, at uh, this location of the monitor so if it is uh, at a uh, down gaze view and the distance uh, uh, of monitor from the surgeon is around 5x where x is a uh, uh, diagonal length of the monitor then the it will be uh, relaxing for the surgeon so basically what is ergonomics ergonomics is basically study of the psychological and physical interaction between any user and their tool in uh, respect of a laparoscopic surgeon the tools of laparoscopic surgery and uh, the user us the word ergonomics is derived from two words ergon and nomog ergon means labor and nomog means natural law so the ergonomic means knowledge concerning the law of human labor so why ergonomics is important in open surgery surgeons touch the patient tissue directly using hand or relatively simple instrument and sense of vision touch and position works under normal condition and there is a large performance reserve while in laparoscopic surgery patient uh, the surgeon indirectly views the operative field and uh, touches the intra abdominal tissue with long instrument rather than uh, directly by a hand and uh, simple tasks are most more stressful and fatiguing during laparoscopic surgery and uh, uh, this slide is showing the ergonomic ceiling which is actually higher in open surgery while this uh, ceiling of physical and mental reserve is actually lower in uh, laparoscopic surgery that's why the laparoscopic surgery sometimes is more fatiguing and stressful and uh, in laparoscopy there is limited uh, degree of freedom of movement there are only 4 degree of freedom of movement in out up down right left and rotation of the <coughs> instrument uh, as compared to open surgery where uh, you can move 360 degree so these are the challenges in laparoscopic surgery that's why the ergonomics becomes very important in laparoscopy and uh, there is a fulcrum effect in laparoscopy if you move your hand on to the right side then the uh, the tip of the instrument will move uh, towards the left side and in initial learning curve you have to get used to this uh, fulcrum effect and uh, it has been seen that more than 15% of the surgeons uh, report frequent back pain and stiffness following laparoscopic operation and it is likely due to uh, adoption of more static posture standing stiffly without moving and it may be result of increased concentration and frequent need to look in one direction at the monitor while manipulating the instrument or foot pedal in another direction so it is always beneficial to periodically relax mind body move around look away from the monitor and let go of instrument in between in open surgery we tend to take these mini breaks but we uh, usually forget them during laparoscopic surgery so ergonomics become uh, very important uh, in a laparoscopic surgery there are a, a critical ergonomic adjustment uh, for laparoscopic surgery uh, at the uh, at the level of height of the ot table the position of visual display the foot table location and the selection of the hand instrument so now coming to operate operating table height uh, so a rough uh, guess is to just make the angle between the lower and upper arm between 90 to 120 cm so if uh, the angle at the elbow is between 90 to 120 uh, degree then uh, uh, the muscle will remain relaxed and ot table should be low, lowered such that the surgeon will be able to work within this ideal window of 90 to 120 degree angle at the elbow and uh, there is another rough estimate after insertion of the laparoscopic instrument the laparoscopic instrument handle should be at or below the level of surgeon's elbow because the laparoscopic instrument are much longer than their open counterparts it requires lowering uh, down the table and in some cases like in obese patient uh, there may be need to stand on some lifting device to attain the proper uh, table height in one of the uh, uh, paper published uh, the recommended table height was around 0.49 into x where x was the surgeon's height in meter and it uh, roughly corresponds to uh, mid thigh position of the surgeon the table should be uh, at around the mid thigh position of the surgeon so if you uh, make the ta ot table higher as as you see in this uh, diagram the angle be at the elbow will be less than 90 degree and there will be strain to the muscle of uh, arm and as well as the shoulder and the, uh, the surgeon will be uncomfortable 
So this is again the same picture showing the acute angle at the elbow, which which will be stress. You lower lower the OT table at such height that it corresponds to the level of the thigh or. Uh, the angle after insertion of the instrument the ha uh, handle lies below or at below or at the level of elbow and the angle remains 90 to 120 degree then it can be relaxing for the surgeon so this is again the same picture so now coming to foot pedals if their position <coughs> Uh, poorly, they demand awkward and unnatural posture. Like if uh, it is not in direction of the doing surgery, then your uh, foot would be foot be rotated to other direction, and you will be viewing to the other direction. And if possible, they should be avoided in favor of hand controls. And pedal should be placed near the foot, aligned in the same direction as the instrument towards the target quadrant and the principal laparoscopic monitor. Pedal with built-in footrest is preferable so that the surgeon does not have to hold their foot in the air for a longer time. And if there are uh, two pedals, two energy sources are required, then surgeon must be careful not to confuse them and intelligent uh, grouping of the uh, cable should be done. So now coming to ergonomic, uh, critical ergonomic adjustment of the video monitor. It has been seen that position of the video monitor will affect neck and back posture. And uh, it should be directly in front of the surgeon or in a down gauge view around 15 to 40 degree below eye level for maximum comfort so that there is no, no neck span. If you keep on viewing up as uh, seen in uh, this picture, there will be neck sprain and, uh, and uh, the surgeon will be uncomfortable at, uh, at uh, this location of the monitor. So if it is uh, at a down gauge view and the distance uh, uh, of monitor from the surgeon is around five X, where X is a, a diagonal length of the monitor, then the, it will be uh, relaxing for the surgeon. Uh, the newer resolution monitors, uh, manufacturer are saying that this 5X can be reduced to 2 through 3X depending on the resolution of the monitor. But uh, the standard HD monitor, the recommendation is 4 to 5 times the diagonal length of the monitor. And it should be in down gaze view. So there is a, a principle of coaxial alignment. So it says that the surgeon target organ quadrant and the monitor should be in a collinear axis. Then the ergonomic uh, adjustment will be better. So now coming to laparoscopic port placement, a proper trocar placement is as essential as in any surgery. So as you know that if we, in a start, we uh, place laparoscopic Port in a bizarre way, then throughout the surgery we keep on struggling. So it is of utmost importance that you port, uh, you place the port in a proper manner so that it minimizes instrument and scope interference, optimize ergonomics, decrease mental and muscular fatigue, cut down loss of time and effort, and markedly increases safety. And, uh, it also ensures good surgical practice. So there are some uh, uh, concepts in uh, port placement like baseball diamond concept the arc concept, the triangulation concept. So this is the picture of a baseball field. Uh, it's like a cricket game. The uh, batsman stand here, the baller throws the ball uh, to the batsman. And uh, th this is the home plate. This is the first base. This is the second base. This is the third base. And this is outfield. So when, when the baller uh, throws the ball to the batsman, batsman hits the ball and he runs from first base, second base to the third base and then completes the run coming to the home plate. So similar concept can be applied in laparoscopy by, uh, by uh, asking the, uh, uh, by placing the surgeon at the home plate and making the target organ at the second base and monitor lying in the outfield. So basically you have to make a diamond like this, which so in, if you are doing a surgery of G junction, like a, a midline processor, so the diamond will be placed like this. If you are shifting to surgery of uh, some organ in right hypochondrium, like a wall better surgery, then the diamond will be shifted like this. If you are doing surgery of uh, some organ in left hypochondrium, like a tail of the pancreas or a splenectomy, then the 
uh, the diamond will be shifting like this and in uh, in a pelvic surgery the diamond will be shifting like this so there is another concept uh, which is known as r concept which says that uh, it should be all the pores should be placed at a particular arc from the target organ so like this you will place all the port at a particular arc from the target organ so as in this case uh, for a uh, surgery of the g junction you will place all the port along this uh, arc and if uh, you are uh, doing a surgery in left hypochondrium like say distal pancreatectomy then you will place port on this arc so now coming to another concept which is known as triangulation triangulation basically means the optical port the camera should uh, should remains uh, in between the two uh, two lateral working ports and uh, the trochas are usually placed in a tri triangular fashion so it basically means say suppose you are operating at g junction so it basically means that the two lateral ports the camera port will lie between the two lateral ports like this so this is known as the concept of the triangulation uh, the opposite of triangulation is sectorization when camera port is placed as one of the lateral port and sectoring of instrument should be avoided by the beginners because there may be some uh, problem uh, in the vision so as in a case of acute appendicitis when you are performing appendectomy uh, the senior surgeons may uh, do sectorization of the instrument as uh, as visible in this case the the camera port is as uh, one of the lateral port uh, and the the working port uh, are are here so you can uh, make this in a triangular manner by placing the camera port as one of the in between port to the two lateral ports so this is known as uh, uh, triangulation and it should be preferred by beginner surgeon so now coming to angles in laparoscopy uh, there are three uh, important angles manipulation angle azimuth angle and angle of elevation so the manipulation angle is angle between the two uh, lateral working port so for a best ergonomic layout the manipulation angle should be around 40 45 to 75 degree and the ideal being uh, 60 degree uh, there was a article by manas neha korm et al they performed a closer of 5 cm enterotomy in a porcine model at various uh, manipulation angle and they found that at 60 degree uh, angle the mean execution time was shortest now coming to azimuth angle the angle between the camera port as well as the lateral working port is azimuth angle so the equal equal azimuth angles is recommended therefore the idea will be around 30 degree and task efficiency will be better with equal azimuth angle as compared to unequal azimuth angle now coming to elevation angle it is angle between the uh, one of the working instrument as well as the tangent uh, to the uh, to the body of the patient so this will be elevation angle so uh, it has been seen that there is a direct correlation between the manipulation angle and the uh, elevation angle and with a uh, manipulation angle of 60 degree optimal elevation angle is 60 degree so uh, there was an article of uh, uh, dr yogendra modi et al so they they basically see uh, uh, what is actual practice in a uh, in a practical scenario so that they, they sent a questionnaire to 80 laparoscopic surgeon out of which uh, 50 responded the mean du mean duration of laparoscopic surgery experience was around 7.8 years and uh, it showed that uh, 64% surgeons were aware about the ergonomic recommendation regarding laparoscopic surgery and practice of it in terms of operating surface uh, height and monitor height was even lower and it was seen that 54% and 4% surgeons for following the guideline in operating uh, table height and uh, monitor height respectively and the 66% surgeon reported arm and shoulder pain while 32% surgeons reported neck uh, neck pain during and after surgery